You better look up, oh, oh, oh. Oh, you So it's Ireland's first ever World Cup qualifier at home against Switzerland. Played their first ever one against Kosovo a few nights ago. So going to take in some of the game, talk to the players, and talk to some other people, hopefully, as well. So it's about 20 minutes of tip here. Let me down the external mic and just so you can get how loud it is already with the music. Fill it up nicely, should have a good crowd. Obviously you can't see that, all you can see is a white wall. But uh, yeah, so a couple of changes for Ireland actually. So James Beckham and David Lahan out. And in are Keelan Carrigan's and Paul Dick. To me that says Marquine is prioritizing height. But what do I know? It's half time, Ireland are losing pretty badly. Getting a coffee. So, not the result Ireland wanted, but uh, we decided to get a little bit of an insight into it. We spoke to Liam Printer, who is a four time European schools champion head coach, who was here, though he's from Ireland but lives in Switzerland. Uh, and we got his thoughts uh, of the result. Liam, obviously, you live in Switzerland, you coach there. What have you thought about the experience back seeing the Irish team? Yeah, look, I mean, they gave it their best. They got it with one in five in the third quarter. Got it really close, but the Swiss have some really good shooters, you know, and they just kind of they started to switch it on in the last couple of quarters. I think our offense didn't look like it ever got going, like it didn't look really smooth, you know, obviously missing some of our best players as well, so it's tough, it's tough, but I really don't think the Swiss are that much better than us. I think we're, we're actually much closer to them than that, so it's pretty disappointing. I thought it'd be closer, but look, they showed up, they shot the ball really well, and we needed a few guys to really stand up, and it just didn't happen today, you know. It's tough, though. And so obviously the star man for Switzerland is Anthony Polite and we figured we had to get his thoughts after this game. Anthony, obviously great result for Switzerland. How do you feel yourself after the game? Uh, it feels good. Uh, came off a uh, second win in this window. That was our goal. Everybody played well. Everybody got to play, so I'm very happy. And you sat a good bit at the second or third. Were you carrying an injury or what was the plan there? No, no. Just rotation. Uh, everybody gets to play. And uh, uh, it was good. And obviously you've seen lots of you playing BCL this year. What's it like to get that break and to play for the national team? Uh, it's always good. It's always great to play for your country. Uh, it's fun to get back with uh, teammates that you grew up playing with, so it's fun. Alec, like for you, like, because two wins out of two, you're the only team with two wins out of two now. Do you feel you made a big step towards getting to the main qualifying? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's what we're working towards. That's the goal. So we just got to keep working and keep getting better. So I'm waiting for the Rapolis to provide us, but as you can see, he's got a bit of a fan club out, out there, all trying to get his autograph after the game. And we couldn't do this without talking to the Irish people, so first off, we're going to hear from Keelan Cairns, but then a history maker, Rapolis Bivides, whose parents are from Kaunas, and is of course a big Zalgiris fan, but more importantly, he's the first player ever of Lithuanian descent to play for an Irish senior side. Yeah, obviously, back in the 12 today, Keelan, what are the results you wanted, how are you feeling? I feel alright, I mean... Uh... Yeah, we had our moments there, good moments, bad moments, but uh, it still runs this level. It's, it's definitely a step up, especially for Super League guys. It, it's a step up and it, you, your mistakes get punished. It's two, three minute runs. And obviously the next qualifiers aren't until November, so you're hoping you can get some more games in in the summer with the national side together? Well, it's time together with the group. Obviously we know each other, but uh, as far as playing each other, like I joined the group Friday evening, I had practice Saturday and then we're playing today. So it's, it's a matter of, like, I'm, they're probably probably the same unit, they're probably training a bit more than us, so it's, it's maybe the summer gives us a bit more opportunity, there's no season, we can uh, practice together and see, uh, see if we can get a bit more going. Up, obviously your home debut man, how does it feel? Oh, great, great, good home crowd, full sold out. Yeah. And like obviously for you, like you know, you got called into the squad during the week, like you know, how did you hear about it and what was your reaction? Uh, so Mark gave me a call a few weeks back, uh, it was great, I was delighted, I was waiting for the call up, so... I'm glad it happened finally. And obviously you're back playing in for Lee, haven't had a bit of time in the US. Are you thinking about what you do next now? You're thinking maybe go to Europe, maybe go back to college? Uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'm, still, I'm in college now at MTU, so you got to finish that out first, I'd say. So um, how many years you got left at MTU? Uh, two more years after this, so... Yeah. And, would, you know, because obviously you're the first player of Lithuanian descent to play for Ireland. What's yeah. it feel like to be that history maker? It's great, maker? it's great. I, I love to have that down by my name, you know? I mean, like... There's a lot of Lithuanians, Polish people are around here, so it just shows that it's possible to do things that you could do, you would do in Lithuania or Poland or whatever that you could do here as well. Like, you know? and, and could you see yourself going LKL, NKL after you finish oh, up in college? That would be great. That's a dream. LKL especially, like, you know, that'd be unreal. And what's the hometown for your parents back in Lithuania? Uh, Konos. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, so... Parents it's basketball, yeah. Is the dream Zalgaris then, is it? Zalgaris, yeah. That's why you got green here as so. well. So that's full time here, uh, not the result Aaron wanted, but listen, good to see the lads back on the world stage. 
Now it's about getting wins rather than just showing up.